Okay, so how to leverage pod guesting. That's what I call it, pod guesting to attract more clients, make faster sales and less stress. You're going to have a little bit, hear a little bit about me as we go through, but to get started, uh, it's handy that if I know a little bit about where you are and where you're going with your current business. Now, through my entrepreneurial career, I've had businesses that have grown and I've had businesses that I've started and grown and started and grown. So it's wherever you are at right now and nothing's right or wrong. And if you're between zero and 5K per month, yeah, you're emerging in whichever business you're bringing to the table today. If you're five to 10, you're probably growing. And if you're 10 plus today, you're going to leverage what it is that you do. So if you want to just type a one, two or three, that's really going to help me know where you're at and be able to uh, give you some great information. So we've got some ones, a couple of ones, excellent, excellent and excellent. And you know what? Pod guesting is one of the fastest, if not the fastest, most economical and leveraged way that you can grow your business. So I'm going to share some real insights. Um, now, can you type in the chat as we go through? If you're a host, put an H. If you're a guest and regularly guest, put a G. Put both, obviously, if you're both. Or if you're looking at getting started, just put a zero. So we've got guess, 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 H and G. Yep, fantastic. Okay, so quick question. Why do you actually podcast? A lot of people say, I do it for exposure, brand awareness and visibility, to share your message. Something to do because you have so much time on your hands, you might as well fill it in being a guest. Um, I'm not expecting too many threes. And to generate leads and clients, just throw in the chat which one it is that best describes why you are looking or you are a guest on a podcast. And we've got some ones, fours, yeah, fours, ones and fours. Cool. <clears throat> Generate clients, fantastic. I'm assuming that all of you have a business. You have a product or a service that you're here and you want to get more clients and sell more of. I'm not going to ask you to say yes or no, but that's pretty well what it is. Unfortunately, people work one of three ways. They do it via guesswork. I'm going to have a crack at this. I'm going to do this. I need to do this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. There are people who do hard work. And that's probably you guys as well, because you're here trying to get some extra knowledge in your time to get more out of what it is that you're currently doing. And there are people that have a, a framework that actually has a system. And I know Chuck does some great uh, funnel systems, frameworks for people to put people in at one end and they become clients out the other end. So with the guesswork, hard work and framework, give yourself a rating between one and 10, one to 10 on how happy you are with your current lead generation. If you're a one or a two, hey, uh, it's not systemized. I know I can do better and I need more and I want more leads. Up to a 10, I just have to get up in the morning and I can see them flowing through into my calendar and into my PayPal account or somewhere in the middle around a four or five is like, yeah, I'm doing okay, but you know, I, I want more. Okay, we're looking at towards the lower end and chances are a fair amount of your work is down on this end here. It's pretty well the guesswork and the hard work. The best thing is use somebody else's proven framework. And if I'm needing to do something time after time after time, I will look at who's doing it right what is it that I could learn from them? And how can I pay to shortcut it? Because I know whenever I invest in something, the money always comes back a lot faster and a lot quicker. And that's the thing that always shortcuts great success. So social media and pod guesting. Every time I look at these numbers, they keep going up. And I think it's somewhere, it's just hit over 5 million podcasts that are out there. That's 5 million times X. 
and most of them they say are interviews. So 5 million times X is how many pod guests they need out there. And we've got a training program, which I'll tell you about a little bit later and invite those who are ready to come and join us. I'm now getting hosts coming to me saying, Steve, who do you have that's gone through your program on this topic? Because I know they're going to be a fantastic guest. And Chuck just interviewed um, one of my girls yesterday um, as a guest. And she's gone through. And I'll tell you the story about her right now. She came and she'd never really been on a podcast, but she knew she had to. And she said, Steve, I'm going on my first one. And she had little sticky notes all over her computer screen of all the little reminders of all the things that she'd learned and what she wanted to do. On her second ever podcast as a guest, the host said, wow, Leanne, that was fantastic. Can we do a series? From somebody that learned a great framework, now she's a series guest on somebody else's podcast. Now, if you're looking to social media to grow your list and to grow your business, and a lot of people say organic social media, have a look at this. Podcasting is growing rapidly. The reach with social media, as you probably have all seen, is shrinking. You have at least 30 minutes to create a relationship with the audience. Social media, you only have seconds to grab their attention. You can target your exact audience. Get on the right podcast, you'll have the right people. And what we teach is, who is the audience that you could best add value to and who are the hosts of them? Instead of saying, hey, yeah, who can I get on and what can I do and how many people do they have versus who can I add the best value to? And you can target those. Social media, you virtually have no control who sees your post. You are introduced by the host as a trusted authority. Social media, you fight to get attention. You were in a sea of sameness, the same as everybody else. Audiences turn up to listen to you. Generally, you pop up as an interruption to their day. And the host asks you to share. Whoops, that's a tick. Share your expertise. Social media, you basically just jump up and start talking about yourself. So we're going to put a P or an S. Where is the most value that you could spend your time? Today, if you were to say, well, if I've got two hours of marketing and where am I going to spend my time, where would I do it? Because I'm going to share with you my exact system that I do six figures every year, two hours per week. And I get on no more than 20 podcasts per year. Right, there's a lot of people out there that are saying, hey, I'm going to show you how to get on a 100 podcasts. When the heck are you going to have time to run your business? <laughs> You know, I can get you on this many podcasts and this many podcasts. Wouldn't it be better if you knew how to get on the right podcast, leverage that podcast, have a great relationship and grow your business that way? Cool. Here's what we got for today's training. The first part, it's in three parts. And you may notice that this is all about business. How to grow your business. Not just all about podcasting, podcasting. It's how to grow your business. So the first thing, no matter what, is how do you stand out in your competition and attract the quality of people? How do you get in front of more of your ideal market? So many people say, Steve, how do I get in front of my, more of my ideal market? How do I market more and get in front of more of them? Hey, podcasting is one of the best ways. And how to sell more easily. Of those three. If I could help you with that today, would you be happy? We'll put an H in there that you'd be happy if I could help you with all of these three because that's all part of it. And my goal for you today, got a couple of capital H's in there, which is great. Goal for you today is give you the most leveraged, cost-effective lead generation system available on the planet. I don't know what else is available on other planets, but I can only speak on Earth. But this is... And it will be the lead generation system that you can actually use. And here's what it looks like. The Podcast Business Accelerator System. 
first and foremost, we are going to be talking about standing out, creating you as the prize. Be the prize, not the pursuer. How you can attract people. We're going to talk about your positioning. And we're going to talk about your uh, bankable story. Okay. Then we're going to move into the pod guesting, how you can actually leverage. But we are going to talk about sales because there is no point having a brilliant funnel. You know, if you're going and you're working with Chuck, you've got a brilliant funnel with people coming through. There is no point having that turned on and having people come to you if you don't know how to have the right conversation so they want to work with you and join with you. I'm going to share with you what some of my highest level clients, one-on-one -on -one clients, do and use. In the next couple of minutes, I may go on a little bit of a rant. <laughs> I can see most of your faces. Is that okay? Because I am sick and tired of all of these so-called gurus that have been on a couple of podcasts, that have been a couple of guests. They might have had an experience in um, speaking, presenting, etc., and say, hey, I'm going to teach you how to be a profitable podcast guest. And all they're doing, all they're doing is one of two or three things. They're showing you how to be a good interviewee. That gets nowhere. They're showing you how to get on hundreds of podcasts. That's getting nowhere as well. And they really haven't built a business themselves. Their business is selling you training, not the other side of it. So that's where I'm going to pull it all together and show you where all this is coming from. So for those of you who are going to think about doing some work with me, you'll know where all of this training has come from is going to. Where I started learning camera and the interview craft. In 1984, I started with a two, no, a four-week gig on a TV show. It was a kid's TV show. Um, live, I could have 600 kids eating out of my hands, doing live presentations. And I got to the studio and I thought, wow, they're going to tell me to turn it down. They're going to you know, say, that's really exciting. So I did my first session, went to the edit suite, watched them chop it all up. And I said, damn, that is so boring. What I was doing on one side of the camera wasn't coming through the other. <clears throat> so week after week, two years, I would be working. I would be hanging around the studio. I'd be absorbing all the stuff and gradually the presentation got better. Later on, I actually hosted, wrote and produced a network TV show. And I had a speaking career for about nine years. I was speaking in eight, eight to 10 countries per year. And whenever I went into a different city or a different country, I'd be whisked off to the TV and the radio. And I had to do an interview that promoted the event that I was speaking at. Now, if you think about that, that's a bit of pressure. Do an interview. You drag people to the event. If I didn't drag people to the event, I didn't get invited back. So very quickly, I learned a framework and a formula to do the interview, which is how I build a lot of the work that you guys get to see, to do an interview that moves people to take action without being pushy or sleazy. Put a capital I if you would like to know and work through that formula where you can actually inspire and impact, motivate people to go and take action without ever pushy or sleazy. And that's what happened. Um, I franchised my kids club into multiple countries. This is actually, I just noticed it's a picture from the South China Morning Post when I franchised it into Hong Kong. And then after the success of one show, Warner Brothers said, Steve, we need you to write another show and be an executive producer for it. So I put all that together and that show was on network TV for 13 years. So the camera side of things and helping you get through the lens of the camera, communicate and interview, we've got all covered. And that's the background. That's why I get peed off with other people and say, oh, yeah, I've been on a couple of podcasts, I'm going to teach you. No, this is 40 years in the making. On the other side of it, it is business first. I'm a businessman. I help you with your business. And by the way, there are other things that we're going to use. Franchise my kids' clubs, franchise uh, weight loss program, invented a product that went, uh, we sold 4 million into 26 countries. So for those of you who do come and join us in the training and you've got some business questions, they are not off limit. 
we're there for your business growth, not just to be a good interviewee. On the other side of it, I've spent the last five years geeking out with this company called Decision Labs. This is the level of research that they do. They have people connected up and they work out the language patterns, the buying patterns, what words you should and shouldn't use. And when I'm talking about neuroscience, I'm not talking about going and doing a weekend NLP course. I'm talking about the level that these people go to to be able to, how can we positively impact other people to make an informed buying decision? That all is infused. So when I say that this is the information, it's true and it's proven, it's not just me saying, I've learned it in a course somewhere, I'm regurgitating it for you. That's the background and the comfort that you know that it's going to work. So let's dive into the training. The first part is create you as the prize. And what we're going to go through here, we're going to be talking about, uh, there we go, the brown box syndrome. If you title yourself by your category, your occupation, et cetera, and you call yourself an A, I am a coach, a trainer, a consultant, an accountant, a something, then you're basically in the brown box. You're the same as everyone else. You're not standing out. And quite often, unfortunately, you compete on price. Has anybody here got competition in their marketplace? You got competition out there? <laughs> There's a few wry smiles there. Yeah. And quite often your positioning will make a massive difference. And the people who are the A's, they get paid a lot less than the V's, the creator of. And that's what we do in the first couple of weeks of the program. We don't get into podcasting first. It is moving out from an A to a V. What is your unique authority positioning? What is your bankable story? And how can we help you stand out? And then we work through that first. That alone will help get you onto more podcasts. And that alone will help you make more sales. And what you'll see in the training is I'm going to give you some information. I'm going to share with how you can use it. And I'm going to show other examples how they've used it. So you can sit back and say, ah, I can do it that way. So moving from an A to a V. I'm not going to ask where you are and what you're at. But I am going to get you to write this down. Tattoo this on the back of your eyelids. I don't really care where you put it. It's that important. Your perceived position predicts your profits. Brendan Bouchard said, I think it was last year, he said, he's a well-known coach. If you're not earning what you believe you should, it's your positioning. So he's taking a real brown box and turning them into a bright blue, a dentist. And those of you that are going to come along and join us for some training, we do breakout rooms, we do live training, group mentoring. The second week of one of his training sessions, um, Gautham said, Steve, I'm a dentist, I don't want to sell. So as a part of what we do, we delved into what and where and how. I'm not going to go into all the details, but the, the main group of the people that he was serving were a certain age that had a certain feeling that was starting to break down and crack the, most of the teeth. I know I've actually gone through it, had to have some replaced. And so instead of being a dentist, we worked out that he could do a program called the Teeth for Life program, helping people keep their teeth longer by gradually replacing the fillings that were going to break. So instead of being a dentist, he was the creator of the Teeth for Life program. And by turning his mindset around and say, I'm the creator of the Teeth for Life program, instead of waiting, people would come in and say, can you fix, I've got a broken tooth. Great, yeah, by the looks of it, you've got five others that are going to break in the next four or five years. Would you like to save some pain and some money by joining this program where we can progressively replace them and you can pay them off over time. Within six months, he had an additional $50,000, $40,000, that was 50,000 per month, coming in in automatically build income. 
and he had added over a million dollars in annualized income by changing the packaging, the program, and the positioning, all of which you get to play with in the first couple of weeks of us working together. Was that worthwhile? Him going from an A to a V, was he going to make more money as a dentist or the creator of the Teeth for Life program? So where do you want to be? Do you want to be an A or do you want to be a V? Type in an A or a V where you want to get to. Because he moved from being a dentist, selling a service, competing on price. He had no control or consistency and he hated selling. But he then went into being the creator. He offers quality of life. He was selling quality of life. He increased his fees. He had a stream of referrals, consistent money coming in, and he added over a million dollars. That was just from going from an A to a V. No additional spend on advertising. We've got a Z in there. Uh, think about this as well. The people who get paid the least get paid for what they do. You might do stuff really well and you get paid for it. The people who actually get paid the most get paid for who they are. Ask yourself the question, are you a whoer or are you a doer? Because when you get referred to other people and you're known for that unique thing, it is easier for other people to talk about you instead of being a good. So if somebody had a broken tooth and they went to their friend and say, oh, you need to go to my friend, they're a good dentist. Everybody knows a good dentist versus, oh, you need to go to my friend. They're the creator of the Teeth for Life program. This program will really help you. Who's going to get more referrals? By doing that alone and learning how to use it, you will get more referrals. Write down, because we'll do it later, what would one additional referral per month mean to you in your business just from changing this alone? I'm going to pick on another brown box. Um, and she was an office support VA. And that's what she called herself. I'm an office support VA. Guess what she was charging? Overseas offshore VA rates. Now, the interesting thing about, about her, and she'd been doing my free, these workshops, free masterclasses for three years and never implemented anything. She said, oh, Steve, when I'm ready, I'm going to come and do it. Steve, when I'm ready, I'm going to come and do it. Steve, when I'm ready, I'm going to come and do it. And got to the last one, and, and we were good friends. I said, that's it, no more. You either do this one or don't come back. I had to be cruel to be kind. She joined the program. Within two weeks, we actually turned her around, created her blueprint, which we will do with you when you come to the program. And she, because she helped businesses implement systems that were business systems to grow their business. So her A was AVA to the business growth system specialist. Added 50% to her fees. She got more clarity. Okay, write this one down as well. Clarity equals cash. When you've got clarity and your prospects have got clarity on who you are, what you do, and the value you deliver, your life your business, your bank balance changes. So Clarity gave her the confidence to talk about what she did at a higher level. She had better energy instead of saying, oh, yeah, I'm a you know, systems VA. No, I am the business growth system specialist. Her energy totally changed and she got more clients. So much so that she increased her fees 50%, got five new clients in the first two weeks. We did a quick calculation. If all she got was those five clients three years ago and nothing else grew in her business, that was $140,000 over the three years that free information had cost her. So free information isn't always free. It cost her 140000 by not implementing what she could have implemented three years earlier. She said, Steve, thanks for the kick in the bum because it really got her going. 
So that's the part of the positioning. Any questions or anything around that? Um, the next bit, and you'll probably hear on multiple podcasts when somebody gets to talk about their story. And this is what really pees me off about some of the coaches out there. All they're teaching is tell your story, share your story, share your expertise, share a link to go and find you. What they left out, if that's all they teach, is get on your knees, put your hands together, and then look skyward. Because basically, if that's all you're doing, sharing your story, expertise, and a link, that's not going to deliver anything. Your bankable story is something that I've developed using the research from the other company on how do you tell your story in a way that excites people to want to work with you. There's multiple parts, but it's to excite the people. First of all, you, you start, I'll give you parts of the training now if you want. You start at the beginning of the bit of your story that resonates with the audience for them to think that's just like me. And that's all they need to know. It's like, yes, you've been through that or you've helped somebody through it. And they're thinking, wow, they've been through that. That's just like me. That person will probably have empathy for what I'm going through right now. And as you're telling your story, and here's the producer hat coming on, and you're telling that part of your story with empathy and talking to the audience. And then it's the aha moment. It's the bit that you created. And what happened is I did this and then I've turned this and then you get to the part. Well, and now the great thing about that is I'm helping so many clients. Here's one of my clients. We got these sorts of results. So when you go through that energy flow and that can take as little as 90 seconds at the end of the bankable story, they get into the, when Harry met Sally effect, I want what they're having. It's like, wow. They felt you. They can see that you've got a system to deliver and you're helping people. When you learn the bankable story formula, you could use it everywhere in your podcasting, in your sales, in your networking. Everywhere you can actually use the variations of your bankable story. That's where it's crucial. And here's Leanne, who you interviewed the other day, <laughs> Chuck. Ah. Uh, She's got a business that she knew was highly valued. Put a put a V in there, put in the in the chat. I'd like to see everybody's V go in if you actually deliver value for your clients. Just just do a V if you deliver value for multiple. Yeah, great Vs. And and she did, and she was having trouble articulating it. And she's a, a member of a networking group, BX, and they have a 40 second pitch as part of their networking. And she wrote, Steve, I rewrote uh, my BX intro this morning and nailed it. One best intro and have a ton of business owners wanting to connect. She'd been a member of that group for over six months. And by turning her little 40 second around using the bankable story formula, she has in her words, a ton of businesses. This was so exciting. I know how powerful my work is. And I know I haven't been able to communicate it effectively. Thank you. I'm so excited of what's to come. May Rose, another. Can't thank you enough for your great support in your program as my progress has been down to your teaching about the bankable story. It's huge. Okay. When you get this right, you can absolutely change the way that you network, the way that you sell, the way that you do podcasts, etc. The next thing about your positioning, and I'm a little stickler for this, but I'm quite fortunate because the other person in the room, the same last name as me, makes me look good. <laughs> and he basically creates professional Zoom backgrounds for me. And I've got and no, I'm not going to try and push out the buttons because I'll blow the whole thing up if I try to do anything. Uh, Zoom professional backgrounds. That's one of the big things. If you, and I'm not going to point anybody out or not, 
where you fit within the screen, where your eye level is, the thing around you all adds to the professionalism of how you look and how people want to buy from you. It's the, did this person, did this person value who they are enough to spend time on looking good? Does your presence on camera right now reflect the value that you're going to be asking people during a, either a sales conversation or a, um, or a podcast? Okay, I've got different backgrounds for networking. They've got a little bit of movement in them. I've got different ones for being a podcast guest. I've got different ones where I'm doing training and I've got different ones where I'm doing masterclasses. Okay, having a professional background and looking good on camera will enhance the way that you connect with other people. I've got a good question here. And Tina, you've come at the right time. What's your biggest takeaway so far? And what is the question? What if you are selling a program related to your expertise, but isn't based on your own story? Fantastic. Your bankable story can easily and quite often is crafted of the story of the person that you have helped. Okay, we'll talk about hero stories a little bit later, but your bankable story can be the journey that you have taken with that person and you're empathizing right at the beginning. Oh, I've worked with this person and they were feeling this, they were doing this. And the audience is relating to, wow, that person is just like me. Then you take them through, but as I was working with this person, we started implementing some of my systems, my strategies or whatever. And here are some of the bankable results that that person got. So at the end, it's, wow, uh, that makes sense. I want what they're having. Tina. Um, is Tina allowed to come off mute? There we go. Thank you. Um, thanks for taking my question. I um, was wondering, I have a, uh, so one thing that I help people with is um, basically keeping their brain young at any age. Um, and so my target audience is people in their 50s, 60s, you know, around that age. Um, I'm, but the story I can tell that's really powerful, most powerful is one of uh, somebody who actually had severe dementia and I brought her back from dementia. And, and so it's almost like a, it's not like a story that they necessarily can relate to, but it's a story to show how powerful my methods are. Is that going to work or do I have to, because because when I'm marketing to 50 and 60 year old people, their memory isn't necessarily in that bad a shape, but they may be worried about going downhill, right? And so then there's not really a good transition story because they may have, you know, it may really not be that bad when they come to, to my group program. Um, a fantastic question. I, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. The answer is yes, you can mold the story and as I'm thinking now you can do a hybrid of a story that shows the power of what you've done with that person molding it into the comfort uh, of people knowing that they're doing their program that they're not going to get into that situation and if you've got people that have got those sorts of results it's like well yeah I see the power way back there right into yeah it's worthwhile doing this to prevent it Thank you. Yeah. F fantastic. Great answer. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let's rock and roll. We've done the first part and we're going right on time. So creating your positioning. Put a P and a dollar sign if you think right now that working on your positioning story, et cetera, is something that would be of value to your business and would make a difference moving from the A to the, 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 the developing the story and how to communicate you as the authority on your bit of information. Awesome. Okay, let's rock through the next part here. Um, I... Basically, COVID hit here in Australia and... Businesses were all hanging on to government handouts in 20 and 21. 
a lot of those were my clients. And because they didn't have people coming through the door, they had really no use for what I was doing. So my business suffered as well, just like anybody. What am I going to do? I decided to move by the Zoom chair over to the US and Canada and beyond. And I had one introduction to a networking group and I knew, and I'd been on podcasts and I'd hosted my own for a while. And then within, within 10 months, it was actually a six figure business, mainly from just pod guesting. But I got to tell you, I made some pretty bloody horrible mistakes early. <laughs> one of them nearly cost me uh, the opportunity to be on one of the biggest podcasts in my field. And I'm sure Chuck knows most of these people as in, in my world, they're the gods of marketing. You know, Dan Kennedy, Seth Godin, Jay Abraham, Rich Sheffrin, Robert Cialdini, they, they are the who's who. And I'd been yeah, interviewed, I've been recommended to be on this podcast and at that stage, I was doing the cookie cutter thing. So, Steve, you've been recommended to come on. So what is it that you do? And I went into the, I help people do this, do this, do this. And he said, oh, you're just a sales trainer. And I thought, okay, damn. <laughs> How do I get myself out of here? Because it was, this is one that I really wanted to get on to. Um, so... It was, well, yeah, what we can do is, and we talk about the brown box syndrome and here's how I help your people so they could use this and they could do this. He said, oh, that's interesting. And we had a chat. And then we also talk about the emotive sales pendulum, that we do this and we can work with this and your people would love it because they could use it here and it would do this for them. Oh, tell me more. What, what else do you have? And I said, well, there's the, the psychology behind the, the DNQC sales flow. And it does this. I'm sure your people would love that because they would get these results. He said, fantastic. So the conversation started with Steve. If selected, we have a two to three month waiting list to do recordings. After just a couple of those little nuggets and done the right way, it was Steve, do you have any time in the next two weeks? I'd love to get this in front of my people. So going from I am, I do this, I can speak on this. And by the way, how many times have you heard people in a networking or may have actually used it yourself, I am passionate about and I can talk on this. When you come and do my training, that's banned. Yeah, Chuck's nodding his head. Yeah, how many people have you heard say, I'm passionate about this and I can talk on this? No. No. When you learn, and we have a, we spend two weeks on how do you have the right conversation with the host that will guarantee that you get on, but not only that, that they want to do the collaborations that you know Chuck and I were talking about earlier, and we'll be talking about in a second. So from one heck of a mistake to creating a framework that virtually guarantees that you will get on after a pre-call chat, and has a high success of collaborations. And one of the people that has done the program, and she went through and said, hey, this partnering opportunity works. I did my intro call, and this was her as a host. So if you're host and guest, you can apply everything in our training. Before I could even invite her to be a guest, she wanted to talk about partnering up. So they created a co-product together, and they used the podcast interview as a launch of that partnering. And so that's one of the ways that you could use, as Chuck said earlier, podcast guesting to be able to get on board. Whoop. Okay, yep. Hunter was just reminding me that there was a chat in there, so I was just checking his chat. Thanks, buddy. So again, uh, how do you position yourself to get on other people's podcasts. I am this, I'm passionate about this, and I can talk on this. The goal that we teach you is how do you make the host look the hero because your information is going to be of such great value to their audience. 
There's a whole little set of sequences that we take you through that make all of this happen absolutely phenomenally. Going to get some water? Sharpen your pencils right now because this is where the money is. Oh, that's a case if you want me to tell you where the money is. <laughs> Chris, that was a cheeky smile. I saw that. <laughs> okay. There are, there are the four Ps. You probably know by now that I like a little bit of alliteration. The first P is the typical one. It's the one where you get on, you do a good job, you hope they go to your lead magnet, into your funnel and book a call somehow, somewhere, okay? With the conversation framework that you're going to learn in the next bit, it really enhances the success. It, it almost a 30 to 40% increase in all opt-in rates for people using this formula. So if that's the main thing, and that's where people get stuck as they put all the pressure on the podcast itself. Oh, I got to do a great podcast. I want to get leads. I want to get sales. I got to tell you that 80% of my income does not come from the podcast. Think about this or, or even write it down. The podcast is the doorway to opportunities, not the destination. If you get that, it's you and it's the intention that you have going into the chat with the host. I'm going to write this in top. Intention plus strategy That's where it is. So what you got to think about, they're not a host first. They're a host second. They're a business owner first. You're not a guest first. You're a guest second. You're a business owner first. Your intention is to have a business owner to business owner discussion about how you can both get value of being on that one podcast. Does that make sense? So it's your intention for the conversation plus the strategy. So it's you now have to look at your intention. We've got the strategy. How do you leverage that? Pass on. When you do your unique bankable story, when you position yourself uniquely and create unique language and have it on the podcast, pass on is basically referrals. You can get referrals from the host. You can get referrals from the audience. Okay. And they will go through the roof when you have your unique language. The last two are two together partner and promote. There are people in business, and I can feel one coming on with Chuck and I. People get together, they create a partnership, and they market it. Okay. A lot of my students now are going into podcast chats and creating some awesome partnerships. And also, gee, I'm talking to the man, joint ventures, affiliates, and PR. Okay, promote. You guys are probably thinking, but that's okay, Steve, you've been on some big podcasts. I have, but I treat everybody with respect and everybody with the same way. I had one lady come to me, and you don't have to be on the biggest I had one lady come to me. She said, Steve, I don't have a big audience, but I know my people would love what you say. And I had a look at what she did and what she was asking. I said, sure, I know they would. And I know that I could deliver great value for them. I said, let's do it. So as we had our chat and she said, Steve, I've got another group that are not my audience, but I know that they would love one of your workshops. Can we do something there? And I said, yeah, I'll do a workshop. You can be an affiliate. We can do that. So we did that. And she said, I love it, but can I just be an affiliate and promote yours for people who didn't come? Of course you could. So the thing is, that person did not ever have any more than 100 downloads on any episode, yet still generated... $16,000 for me in six months. So don't think that I'm just starting out or I have to be big and I have to do that. Now you can get on the smallest. 
and you can start generating some great information. Okay, what feedback can you ask the podcast host? Is that feedback as in how can you get better or I'm not really sure what you're asking there, Drisella? Yes, like it's a, it's about how did you do and what how can you get better? Sometimes we say that we have both ex expectation and starting with the end in mind. And I wonder if you can ask how is it or, or what can I do different next time? Hey, love it. And do you know how you ask that? You get to the end of it. They've turned the recording off and say, fantastic. I had a really great time. I'm always looking to improve and to provide better value for the people that I'm on. Is there anything that you could think of that I could improve so I can give better value? It's always around that. And the good thing is that as a part of what we do is you actually go into breakout rooms and practice with each other and get feedback. And people that actually get on their first stage, it's never their first stage. They've always you know, tried out their bankable story. They've tried out all of these other things with other, other things. But that is a fantastic question. And has that helped? Absolutely. And sorry, I have to move to another meeting, but I enjoyed your presentation and uh, oh, I, look, well, I look forward to stay connected. Yep. Chuck is recording this, I know, and he said, I don't normally do it, but I'm going to avoid uh, uh, allow the replay. Get in quickly because there's some pretty cool stuff at the end that um, if you really want to build your business with this, it'll be great for you. Let's rock on. Um, and it, I normally don't take questions along the way, but because of it's a nice intimate group and it is with Chuck, then I'm doing that as we go. So here are some different people that have used this. They're not rock stars. They're no different to you. Um, one student booked a pre-call from the pre-call, booked a webinar and made $12,000 before the podcast was even recorded. Anybody want to make money before they actually record? See, it's what I'm saying. It's the doorway to opportunities, not the destination. Um, one of mine, because I've actually been doing it a while and know a little bit of how to do it, um, and this was, I think, in March. I booked a 90-minute workshop for 20 people. I actually walked away with a net 14,000. I co-created a new product. She was a speaker coach. We created a new product that is now still selling two to $4,000 per month. The We did the interview and I had a high level uh, program and a couple of clients took that as well. So when you go in with the intention of what could happen, here is the framework to create all of that happening. It is not just, hey, I want some people to opt in for my free guide. Nancy, and she was actually just on yesterday's training again. Uh, Steve, this is all falling into place. I did my first collaboration for an event and we'll use the podcast to promote it. Thank you for making it so easy. So remember, it's the intention and the strategy. You're probably thinking, where the heck do I get on? Where do I get found and how do I find? Those who come and join us will have access to what's called the ultimate directory of podcasters, nearly a thousand. But we teach you how to use that as great market research and then find another one or 2000. Find out what niche is going to be best for you and then target that niche. There's a whole science and strategy behind using this guide, not just, oh, there's a number. I'm going to try that person. No, it's how do you get on the right ones that other people haven't hounded three months access to the joint venture directory, which is where Chuck and I hang out a lot. And we do a lot of business through that. Um, a lot of my people come and take advantage of this. This new one, I'm doing work with a guy called Tony. He has this program and product. He's running masterclasses and challenges for my people and guarantees their first three or their next three, a minimum of their next three podcasts. So if you think this all sounds good, Steve, but where the heck do I go and where do I get on? Tony is great. He is. And the reason I just call him Tony because I keep forgetting how to pronounce his last name, but anyhow. Um, yeah. And 
it's all covered. So you can turn up knowing you're going to learn all this, but you're also going to know where to go and get on. Um, so very quickly, having a look at the bigger scope, the potential of, let's just say you're on one per month, one podcast per month, and you generated several calls and you had one, and we'll turn that into one client per month. What if you also did a collaboration with somebody? We'll call it a JV. And you did that every three months. I'm not going to put the pressure on you. I do one a month. Do a collaboration, a joint venture, and that generated maybe four or $5,000, maybe $4,000. When you add that up, one client per month, and let's just say it's $500, that's an extra $6,000 just there. If you do four of those a year, that's an extra $16,000 per year. At the bottom end of the scale, and the bottom end of the spectrum, that's an extra 20 odd thousand dollars just there. And I always say to people, we're looking to create a strategy to get your next or first $20,000 just from pod guesting. That is basically rock bottom of what many of my students are doing. Now, I'm going to ask you a quick question. Of the people that you've seen so far, how many of them wear Lycra and have a cape flowing out the back? How many of them are superheroes or are they people just like you? They're just like you. They're no, they're no different. So the question is, if you think they can do it, can you do it? Now, if you say to yourself, well, if they can do it, I can do it. They are not special. They've gone from the guesswork and the hard work to use a proven framework. The next bit we're moving into is sales. Now, one of the things that I didn't say, uh, Chuck didn't say, I'm a nine times Amazon best-selling author primarily in marketing and sales. Okay, sales has been my lifeblood and I hated with a passion selling. I opened up a health club in 1983. The first thing I did, I got some sales trainers in to teach me and my staff how to sell. And I thought, that's icky. <laughs> you can imagine what health club membership sales were like back then. It was pushy. So I was always looking for something new. You saw that I sold franchises. I sold millions of dollars of stuff around the world. But then it was time to become a coach and I was selling myself and I struggled to sell myself. I hated it. And I wasn't that good at it, to tell you the truth. I was struggling to sell a $500 a month program back then. And one day I was in a speaker training workshop and the speaker, I was in America. I flew to America to learn from the best, and he bought out this big seven foot by three foot banner. And he said, this is my seven figure speaker system. And I just looked at it and I saw blueprint. Oh my God, I know what to do now. I don't ever have to sell myself anymore. I can sell my system, my roadmap, my blueprint, my visual for your results. What you have on the screen is the end result of about 10 years of creating blueprints. I no longer have to say, hey, I'm good by me. It's like, hey, let's collaborate, let's connect, and let's see how this system can help you. And there's systems from all sorts of different walks of life. So what we're looking at now, stress-free selling. How many, what, am I, what letters am I going to use right now? How many here like helping people? Put an H. And how many people here like selling to people? You can put both if you like helping and selling. But like helping them or do you prefer to sell to them? Most of them are H. Okay. When you do this way of doing things, life changes. It did for me and it does for all of my people. So the next three minutes 
is virtually three days of training and three minutes. Decision Labs, the company I work with on all of their research, they've studied the order of insights, information, question. When you have it in the right order, in the right way, people will want to do things with you. I'm not going to go into the research, but I geek out on this to try and give you the best way possible. What I'm going to do right now is go through the DNQC. This from some of the leading sales trainers have said this is the most innovative and powerful formula you could use. D is for data. And that's basically info. And most people will give some information, give some more information, give some more information. Chuck, you've probably interviewed 100 people that have got on there, you've asked them a question and they've just got <laughs> machine gun. I'm going to give as much information as possible so that they're making an informed decision they're going to want to buy from me. No. You give a nugget of information and then into the end, the narrative. And there's a little framework and a little formula that we talk about hero stories. How do we create a hero story? So at the end of the hero story, it's like, wow, I was just like them. I want the results that they got. And that's where we get into quantify. What sort of results would you get? If you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation, you would be working with the person and it would be say, hey, Tina, could you see what we just did for that person work for you? Yes, it would. Now, if we were to do it, we'd work out together and we'd collaborate on a quantifiable result. Now, quantify could be financial or emotive. Okay, there's always two banks. There's the financial and the emotive bank. Put deposits in both. And confirm. So Chuck's just asked me a question. It's a great, great question. Thank you so much, Chuck. Um, you'd know from all the fantastic work that you do in this particular area that, I'm going to tell you why I did that in a second, that here is the bit of information of my answer. That reminds me of somebody that we worked with not that long ago, and I know your audience will love this. They'll be able to understand how it works, that they were suffering from this. They were feeling this. We actually did this little bit of our system, and they got these fantastic results within X period of time. Now, I'm sure most of you at home would love those sorts of results, wouldn't you? Now, there's about four strategies built in there. The first strategy was to elevate and edify the host, to put them on a pedestal in front of their people, to give Chuck a surge of dopamine, to think, wow, I'm feeling pretty good. He's, he's called me out and he's put me on a pedestal in front of my people. Now, the audience is thinking, wow, Chuck's a really cool guy because this guy thinks he's a cool guy. Wow, our relationship with Chuck is now strengthening. Now, I've created some excitement about potential results that the audience can get. And I've spoken directly to the audience, which has given them a surge of oxytocin, which is the belonging drug. And I pulled them into the conversation. So that's the three relationships that we have. My relationship with the host my relationship with the audience and enhancing the third relationship of the host and the audience. When you know how to do those three relationships, it's not just you geeking out, having a chat with the host. It is the three relationships and that DNQC should flow virtually with every answer. Ah, oh, fantastic answer. Thanks. Yeah. Here's, here's a bit of my answer. Here's how somebody else has used it with great results. Now, wouldn't it be fantastic if you got those sorts of results as well? No. Selling health. I spent 20 years in the health and fitness industry, was on the first world mind-body fitness committee. I've sold millions of dollars of health. Um, it's in the emotive. What is the emotive value that people will put on what it is they're going to get? It's the lifestyle change. It's so many different things that they're coming to you with some sort of a pain and a problem. You can show how it is 
and what they're going to get from it. So that's the conversation formula that really will make so many things flow once it starts working for you. Type in D N the four letters, type in the D N Q C if you could see that working for you. And enhance some of the conversations that you would have. Yeah, you know, we're chuck coming through there. Chris, you can see that you're getting perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Oh, we've got Pepper joining us. So that D N Q C you could use in your sales conversations, your referral conversations in your sales uh, presentations, you've probably seen me do this all the way through. I've given you some information. I've given you uh, people who have done it. I've quantified what they've done and I've asked you to quantify what it would mean to you. And then is that working for you? I've got you. I've, I've probably done the DNQC about six times already in this conversation, just as a flow. Um, I may be able to get back to it, Tina. So we're going to break for Q&A at the end of this anyway. So I may be able to get back to it. So here's one lady. She's a, uh, a leadership coach and now she's a speaker trainer. And again, she's not only doing monetary financial gains. There's the financial and the emotive benefits she said, the DNQC is really starting to flow. I'm closing 100% now. So she's got her blueprint. She's got her system. And basically, what would it mean to you if we collaborated and put this system in? I'll show you how that works in just a second. Financial advisors. Brown boxes? <laughs> is there one or two of them out there? Yeah, there's quite a lot of them out there. And here's an advisor who was not only an advisor, but he was within a franchise. So he had to abide by their rules as well as just being the same as so many other advisors. So we looked at what he did, why he was different, as we would do for those of you who are going to come and join us. And we created his accelerated wealth creation blueprint. He did a complete three-dimensional financial review on people. He knew how because he was an advisor he was a mortgage broker he was also had an accounting background so instead of saying hey i'm a financial advisor would you like financial advice it was like hey i'm a little different i've got a complete system i've got a blueprint on how we can help you you know retire more comfortably reduce your expenses and reduce your tax when would you like to book in for a complete financial 3d financial review he could be standing beside three other from the same franchise basically doing the same thing on a trade show and he will walk away with four times the number of leads than they got so because he repositioned himself he was the creator of that blueprint repackaged what he did which was more outcome based and communicated it in a way here are just some of the results that he got 84 percent booked from cold zip code generated leads from the company. They booked and they showed up. He collaborated with them, not convinced. He doubled his fees, doubled his conversion rate and doubled his referrals. Would that make a difference to any business? <laughs> yes, it did. It made a huge difference. As soon as his time was up, he got out and we've created his own franchise called Your Local Money Mentor. He's gone from being an invisible brown box within somebody else's franchise to standing out, having a phenomenal business and growing it and having his own franchise. When you're collaborating with people and you have your blueprint, it's like you walk around the other side of the table and sit next to them and I think somebody said they don't mind selling if they're helping people. This is all about helping people. So here's one of my older ones. And if somebody says they're not standing out, they're having trouble selling, other people are pinching their, uh, their clients, we would collaborate. And this is an exact result from somebody. We talked about somebody else who 
got a 20% increase, what would that mean to them? That was an extra 4,000 per month. We looked at their packaging. We spoke about their packaging. How would it go with this? Somebody else did it this way. Could you see this working? Yes. Great. If we did that, what would it mean to you? So we've had the data. Here's what you should do. Story. Here's how somebody else did it. Calculate, quantify, and confirm. So if we were to repackage and we got you an extra 6000 per month, would that be a priority of yours to work on? Yes. Confirm. And it's not all about the money. Hey, you say you get stressed at selling and you hate it. Okay, we take away the stress. We reduce your time. Would that be of value to you? Yes. Then when we get to the end, we talk about what's called the value, the real implementable value, not the value of the box that you're selling, not the value of your program, but the real value of what you deliver. And so... Um, Chris, by the look of this, and from what you've said, if we were to put this into your business, your life, or whatever it's going to be, that's going to add an extra $24,000 to your income. That's $72,000 over the next three months. Quick question, should we get started on this sooner rather than later? Now, <laughs> Chris has collaborated on that. We've collaborated on this. She's confirmed that she wanted that. She's collaborated on this. It's hard for somebody to say, no, I don't want this. When they've basically said, here's the money that you're going to give me. What are we going to do here? So one of the big things that the people that come through the program all look at, and can you see now that it is not just being a good guest when we put these three facets together, it is all about growing your business. Mimi went to a networking, a face-to-face -face event. They were asked to say what they did and add a story. She had a bankable story in her back pocket. She turned it around. She used all from one of the breakout rooms. So for those of you who say, well, how do we learn and practice this? From one of the breakout rooms, she'd practice it. During the mingle, after the event, there were people seeking me out. <laughs> this stuff really works. How you position yourself is everything. And LJ, great student. She said, Steve, this covers everything in my business. My whole business is growing because of this, not just the podcasting. So one of the big things that I'll ask you today, I might open up and let you come off camera. What's the biggest implementable takeaway that you have seen so far that if you put into your business, it would make, make a difference? Whether you want to type it in or you want to come off camera, I've got probably two minutes for somebody to say, because my goal today was to give you nuggets, practical solutions, how other people have used it and how you can actually use it as well. What is the biggest thing that you've seen so far A from an A to a D? That was the first thing that somebody typed last week. Big thing, big change. Um, yep, yeah, Chuck said, if you want to unmute yourself, you can quickly share. I'll have a sip. Uh, and having a system to sell. Yes, that takes the stress of selling yourself. And when you have a blueprint and you learn how to annotate on it, it takes, it adds on all the extra senses. They're seeing the numbers add up in front of them and they're going up the ladder. Um, quick bit of extra training. I've got 60 seconds to give it to you. There's three levels of influence in selling. There's the imposed influence. I'm giving you all of this information. I'm giving you all, I'm imposing my influence and then I'm going to impose that you should buy. That's imposed. That is 90% of a sales training. Then there's the collaborative. And that's what this is all about. Working together, but having a visual tool and system where you are really collaborating together. If you want to write something down now, write this down. When they are involved they invest. So if you're collaborating with them and you're sitting beside them or on a call, 
and we're working out what all this does. And then you get to self. And that's where they're looking at all of this and they think, wow, you can't possibly charge me this much. I'm going to get this value from working with you and you're only going to charge me this. I just have to have it. How do we get started? So when you're having your sales conversations, the goal, even on a podcast, is a collaborative way. And that's how we teach you to really involve the audience so that they're getting awesome, awesome value and practical knowledge on how they and why they should work with you. So that's basically the Pod Guest Business Accelerator System Blueprint. It is a true blueprint on how you grow your business. You could actually grow your business immensely, even if you didn't do a podcast by doing this. This is the foundation of what I do with other clients. But the big L comes in is leverage and how to do that and how to grow your business. And as I say, I grow at six figures every year. I, I, it goes over six figures every year just from being on other people's podcasts. So very quickly, I'm going to about 12 minutes. We started about 10 after, but I'm going to be right pretty close to being on time. A lot of people love the information. And I put a V in the chat if you've got value from what I've given you today. Have you got value out of the information I've just given you? Because pretty well on this iceberg, the information that I've given you here is this much. I've crammed as much in as I can. There's still a lot more information. However, what keeps the iceberg up is this 90% down here. And that is the implementation. None of this will be worth an absolute dime if you don't implement anything. It would be, you'll walk away, you'll tell a friend, hey, I went to an interesting masterclass with a crazy Aussie. That was nice. Two weeks later, you'll be talking to someone who's like, I went to a crazy masterclass with oh yeah, something. In a month later, what was that thing I did? <laughs> Nothing. No implementation, um, no impact, no results. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you how all of those other people got the results that they got. And here's the journey that you will be going through. Here's what we're looking to take you through. To use proven strategy systems and support to create your plan to generate 20,000 in the first three months of 2025. Many, as you saw, took a couple of weeks to get some results. I'm not promising that. It may take a little while. But if you get this system flowing, you know that you can have time off over Christmas that you can get up the day you want to switch it on, you can flick the switch and actually start generating leads. You can start now booking calls and podcasts for early 25. That's going to be sitting there. You know that when you get on those podcasts, how to generate and leverage. So the goal will be, how do we generate your first 20? I showed you earlier how we could. And then repeat every three months. Let's halve that. What if all we did was show you how to do an extra 10,000 every three months? That's an extra 40,000. Would anybody be happy with an additional 40,000 next year? No ads, no chasing people, having them come to you and having great conversations and helping people. To me, that generally would be your rock bottom. And I'm not pulling figures out of the air. I'm sh sharing what other people are currently doing. You've only got to do with what one of the other girls did. You know? One event before the podcast, $12,000. It was fairly simple. Collaborating, doing partnerships, all there. So here's how it all works. When you join the Accelerator program, you get access to the Blueprint Conversion System, which is the foundation of all of my coaching, all of my highest level clients. I got off one call this morning. It was 6 a.m. my time with a, a US SaaS company. 
and they're paying 5,000 USD per month. You get the exact same foundation work that they get. We will work through and do your positioning. We'll do your packaging and we'll do your blueprint to get started. So that can flow through the rest of the training. So that we start on the business side first. Then we start using that for your language on your pod guesting. You are a new person. You have your the, you have your programs, you have your blueprints that you can talk about, and that will help you with the pod guesting. We spend several weeks on the call, on how to communicate, how to best do that. Having been in and out of television, hosting my own show and been on interviewed on five different continents, would it be valuable if I gave you my video mastery program? It was a 10 day program. It was a challenge. Would it be valuable if you got the video mastery as a part of what it is? Because videos, I did, you know, last week, YouTube overtook iTunes as the number one podcasting pla podcast platform. So basically people are using the videos they're getting on YouTube. If I can help you with your videos, it would be worthwhile. And then you get the group mentoring. That is me working with you, answering all of your questions. I haven't had time to answer too many. I've answered a couple. Hopefully there was value there. What would it be like to have me with you 90 minutes per week? Not presenting, not teaching too much. 20, 30 minutes of teaching and all the rest is you getting all of your questions and everything mentored. And that's basically where we're at. The blueprint conversion system, I briefly went through. And here's what we do in the first part. You will, in the first couple of weeks, walk away being a unique authority in your market. You'll know how to re-communicate your programs and how to start building your blueprint. The sales part comes at the end. We then move into pod guest profits. But I... Here's somebody who did fast results. How many people here like fast results? Type an F if you like fast. Type an S in if you like slow. This guy jumped in <coughs> and devoured, in his words. I devoured the Blueprint Conversion System online training. Got clarity, reworked his position, created his Blueprint, and used it all on the Monday. And did a $15,000 deal. It took him two days to get $15,000 back. Hashtag best investment ever. This is a video, but I'm not going to play it. When you do your blueprint conversion system and you start working on your positioning, your packaging and your blueprint, business like his will and does change. The podcast training and resources is very, very comprehensible. Comprehensive. We do work on your bankable story. We do work on mastering the pre-call chat that you have with the host. We work on, you saw the three relationships. That there enhances and almost guarantees an increase in leads and clients. We work on your DNQC, conversation framework and formula. So you can use it in sales, networking, and on your podcast. We work on your storytelling framework how to generate more leads from your episodes without any pitching, how to grow your business with those four Ps, and then how to get on and how to find podcasts to get on. Very comprehensive, but it's all there for you online and it's all there for you in the group mentoring. Remember, all of these resources will be yours when you come as well. You'll have your directories to get and have a look and you'll have that training that you're getting with Tony and access to the platform that guarantees three podcasts. And, and I'm sure if you're going through my training, there's a guy sitting in this room called Chuck. He's going to reach out and say, hey, I've got at least one podcast that you would be an awesome guest on. He's already had one of my girls on yesterday. So you've already got that. I do need to tell you what's in the box. Very quickly, all of these are retail value if you went and bought it elsewhere. The blueprint conversion system, you have the training and the resources to become a profitable podcast guest. 
you get the video mastery. If all this did was give you confidence to get in front of the camera, no matter where, no matter when, it's valuable. Initial eight weeks personalized mentoring. You get the private group support, which is ongoing. You've got people in there that have done this a couple of times before. They're all there to support you. And quite often, they're there to collaborate with. You've got people who know this. They're there. They understand what it is that you do. And you're going to get that support as well. That's roughly $7,500. And if that was the retail value that you paid right now, and you were pretty well guaranteed you're going to get 20K back in the next three months, it's not a bad bet. However, that's the box. What do you really get? Because I'm not selling a program. You get unique authority positioning that you don't hand back in eight weeks for life. You get skills, communication skills, positioning skills, video skills, sales skills for life. You do get more referrals. You have better networking results. You get on more podcasts that will generate more clients, more collaborations, and easier sales. So wherever your business is at right now, and many of you were that level one, a zero to 5K per month, this here will accelerate you up to the next level and beyond. One of the guys that's gone through our program, this is not just a game changer, it's a life changer. I was a guest on one podcast after another. I'll get rid of all of that. But for what? He was doing a good job at being an interview, but that was fine. He got nothing out of it. Once he started doing our program, he said this program changed his life because it changed his business, it changed his confidence, and he built something very special from it. Quickly, your mentoring is 60 to 90 minutes per week. They are always recorded and transcribed. Quite often, you'll ask me a question, say, hey, Steve, what should I do here or what could I say here? Fair chance? I will just blurt out a complete script for you. Never ask me to repeat it because I usually can't, but it's all recorded and transcribed and you can just go back, cut and paste and use it. You get the private Facebook support with I think 81 other people in there that have been through. You can always help get help from them. Advanced training, Q and A, but the breakout rooms. You get a breakout room to rehearse your bankable story. You get breakout rooms to rehearse your DNQCs. You get breakout rooms when we get to the end to be able to sell from your blueprint. You get all of these break, breakout rooms so that you're not left on your own. Big thing, immediate access to the online training. Your weekly training is tomorrow, but one hour earlier. So wherever you are, Whatever your time zone is, it's tomorrow, which will be Thursday, and it'll be 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. We start again with a new group with a bonus training, which is all about building your strategy. Now, if you can't make it tomorrow because of short notice, that's okay. We do it at the front. We do it at the end. You don't miss out, but hey, you get the recordings anyway. So if you say, yes, I'm coming, but I can't make it tomorrow, that's okay. You will get the recordings and you'll get in there for sure. You'll get all this great work plus other resources. So basically what we've got here is a very comprehensive business building program. Now, when I spoke to Chuck about you and his people, and because we're going to be doing some, now you see what's behind me. <laughs> I've just knocked my green screen down. Anyhow, um, I've put something really, really cool together for you guys. So we're, we're cutting the price on the seven and a half. You can actually get started today. Just 555 USD. And a total price, if you want to save 100 bucks, total price of 997. Hunter, if you're there, if you can just drop the links in for people who want to get started uh, because I've got something really cool and I didn't tell Chuck this, but I don't normally do this. So that's 
where we're at now. To make sure that you know that this is a chuck only deal, here's the screenshot of last month. You can see that it's double. So I've halved the normal reduce rate just for Chuck and you guys here. So you just have, you can get started today at 2555. Or if you want to, you can save a little bit of money and pay all in full at 997. The links are in the chat, but I'm a former professional track athlete and I was a sprinter and I love rewarding fast action takers. Those of you that are going to join in the next 48 hours, I'm actually going to call that slow. Join in the next 48 hours, you will get the 12 month gold pass. That means you do not get kicked out. You can do the program in the next couple of months, come back next year and do it in the next couple of months and keep coming back. Several that took the gold pass before have come back two and three times because they keep getting additional value because they are in a different spot. The key thing that I need you to take away from this is because I'm giving you that gold pass, I'm not here to sell you a short course. How many times have you either heard or heard of somebody say, I bought a course, but you never saw the person. And after it was over, I stopped because I had problems. No, I'm here as your partner to hold your hand to make sure that you get results over the next 12 months, not just eight weeks. Dom basically said, thanks for allowing us to come back for repeat sessions. I'm getting so much value second time around. I get to work on different things. If you may have noticed, I did cram a lot in and there's a lot in the training but the thing is you can absorb as much as you can the first time and we implement it. Then you come back and we absorb and we implement more and then we do more. So that's why I'm doing this. To get you in, to get you started. But I was talking to Hunter this morning and one of the best things that we've ever done for a few of our higher level program people was this. We're going to go to Q&A for five, 10 minutes or so, however long you want to ask me questions. Those of you who register now, while we're still on the call, you will get a fully edited 12 to 15 minute max promo interview because I will have helped build you, help create your unique authority positioning. I will be asking you all the right questions to be able to Highlight yourself. You can use it in your funnels. You can use it in your marketing. You can use it to get on podcasts so people can see that you are an awesome guest. I used to do these as a business and was charging $2,500. We showed you the value of the Zoom background. What Hunter will also do, you will get this interview filmed with your brand new Zoom background, your professional Zoom background. Now, Hunter bills those for 100 to 150 per Zoom background. I do the interviews for over two and a half. You get that included if you enroll while we're still here chatting. So that's where we're at now. You've got three choices. Very, very simple. We can fast track your success today. You can get started today. Start getting the results that Ryan got within two days. You can book a call. You say, Steve, I'm not real sure. The link is in there to book a call. Then we can have a chat. If you, as long as you book that in the next 48 hours, you can actually have the goal pass. Or you can actually do nothing. If you feel as if you're on the treadmill, you're not generating the leads that you want, then you can stay on that treadmill and nothing will change. So basically what we're looking at now if you want to fast track your success and come and work with us, cool. We're here to reward you. If you need to have a chat and say, will this work for me? Cool. We can have a call. Or you can sit and do nothing. And that's your, your choice. So I'm going to stop the share now. The links are in there. And we can work out 
and answer any and all of your questions and see how we can best help you. Now, I know Pepper came in a little late, so if you've got any questions, it would be my delight to answer them for you. And Latara, let's see how we go here. So, Steve, Pepper, just before we do that, I want to add something. And I didn't say that I was going to do this, but I will do this also. And this will also apply to anyone who is watching the replay of this. We're going to do a limited time replay for the people who are not in my program and then we're going to take this and we're going to evergreen it into my program so that we want you to, to take Steve up on this offer because we know that podcasting has the benefits of everything that he just shared with you, but also in terms of what we're doing with your affiliate program and recruiting partners and you know, it it in everything that Steve talked about here today will help you with that. So for anyone who joins his program, uh, we are going to give you a uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to email me after you join it. And we're going to give you a three hundred dollar coupon that you can use towards upgrading any of our services here in the next. And that'll be usable within the next 90 days. And so that's $300 that you could come back and use towards our affiliate marketing services, our group coaching program, or anything else that we can do to help you. So uh, we're going to add that in. That's exclusive to here. Um, so for those of you who are w right now, and I'm going to speak to the people watching the replay, uh, if you are not a member of my program, uh, you have until the countdown timer uh, counts down uh, to take advantage of that after that. This goes into the members only area and everyone who joins my affiliate management program uh, will get access to this offer uh, from here on out. But um, to people who are not inside my program, if you want that $300 that you could apply to whatever, uh, do it now. Fantastic. Well, that just shows that our stuff goes hand in hand and we're on mm -hmm. so much of the same page that... Um, yeah, it's going to be value into your your group program to be able to see this training and see how they can do it. Um, 